Hi, I thought I'd share with you a neat prayer idea that you can do with your family, a group of friends, um, pretty much anybody, a group. So you can say, hey, let's all do something. Let's take a pen and let's uh, take our hand. So you're going to write on the not dominant hand. So I'm right handed, so I'm going to use my left hand. And with on your left hand, you're going to be writing things. Kind of cool. Make sure you have uh, baby wipes or something that you can they can use to wipe off the, the ink afterwards. So first, you're going to use each finger for a different person. You're going to be praying for um, uh, actually six people uh, that you'll be lifting up to God in prayer as a group, which is kind of neat. And people do this individually. You don't want to be like, what are you writing in your head? The first one is your thumb. Now, the thumb is a hitchhiker thumb, right? And so it's like... People don't like my hitchhiker thumb, they say it's weird, whatever. So a hitchhiker uh, is someone that's traveling or someone that's really far from you distance-wise right now. My brother is in Thailand, so I'm going to pray for my brother. So you write that on your thumb. Then you have your point pointer finger. Pointer finger is someone that's in authority or power. Um, someone that uh, God asks us to pray for our leaders. And so we'll be putting someone that is pr your personal leader. Maybe it's your boss at work. Maybe it's your pastor. Maybe it's a, your youth leader. Um, maybe it's just a spiritual mentor that you have and you want to lift them up in prayer. Mm -hmm. So write them down there. Then you have your middle finger. Um, that's for someone that you are having problems with right now. Someone that you hate. I'll let you figure out that correlation. But go ahead and have that, uh, the, that problem person there on your, on your middle finger. Um, okay, and then you've got your ring finger. This is for someone that you love, someone that you care about, someone that you want to uh, lift up to God for that. I wrote real sloppy so you won't see. <laughs> You're going to check, aren't you? And then the pinky is for someone, pinky is your weakest finger so it's for someone that um, is weak right now uh, someone that needs strength and so you put their their name there now you've got these five people and on but then you've also got the palm of your hand um, the Bible says that that God writes our names in the palms of his hands which is beautiful it's an, it's uh, an Old Testament so if anyone that you want to put into the palm of Jesus' hand, um, someone that you want to lift up and say, this person in particular, I want to pray for this person, go ahead and put them there. Bam! You've got your prayer list. And now it's a simple way to remember with all those, those things. And uh, then you can sit down and you can pair up um, and pray for them, or you can pray for them individually. So I hope that helps uh, you pray as a group. Um, I believe strongly in individual, silent, private prayer, but also to pray as a group and to pray in community is there, where two or three are gathered, there God is, His presence is in the midst of us. So it's an amazing thing, amazing promise, and a neat little trick that you can use when praying as a group. Bye. The baby wipe isn't working too well, <laughs> so maybe you can experiment with some other things. Ah!